Today I'm very excited about guys. I'm going to be testing the 12 foot Top Gun Portage on. What I want to do today is get some data from this boat by taking it out on the water. And I want to find out a few things. Number one, I want to find out how stable it is. Number two, I want to do some top speed testing. thing I've done in case you've never seen this boat and you're new to the channel the only thing I've done is rebuilt the transom and then added some launch wheels which you can see the brackets here besides that the boat is still a uh, factory I've got the e propulsion lithium ion navy battery charged up navy 3.0 six horsepower removed from the 14 foot top gun john boat and we're going to throw it on this 12 footer we're going to see what this electric outboard can do on a bone stock 12 footer unbuilt no kit inside of it no added weight no tackle no nothing just me let's get it now by testing this thing out on the water today it's going to give me some data to go back and compare it to after i do the kit and add some weight to it after i add the float pods on the back and also the stability of with pods without pods so this is all stuff i can reflect on in the future it's something i never did with the 14 footer this is something i want to do with this one to really give you guys some legit data on what these modifications can do for this boat and how it actually affects it okay at my backyard lake here that's local to me electric only reservoir got the motor on i'm going to start off with the battery kind of up here towards the middle of the boat as opposed to having in the rear i need to move it up further um, i will i am working with just a certain amount of cable that e propulsion provides without extending we're going to test her out guys i'm a little bit nervous to be honest with you because i don't know how bad this hole leaks and yeah i've got this outboard on here i don't <laughs> I don't want to sink this thing. Okay, right now I've just got her in the water, just kind of floating, kind of wading in the shallow. I want to kind of see what she does, if I see any water. If I do, obviously I'm just going to pull it. We are going to ride with it, guys. So just for moving this thing from the landing to over here, it's definitely not the same as my 14. A lot less stability. I'm going to be wearing the old life jacket today for sure. On another note, there is now a little bit of water inside of the boat this rivet right here i don't know if you can see that so we'll have to address that but besides that um not a big deal so we're gonna go ahead and see what she does all right right from the get-go what i'm realizing is this rear bench if you can see this tiller handle this rear bench is way too far back for me to even operate this thing so i'm actually sitting on this craftsman toad i brought with me to keep some things kind of watertight we're gonna let her rip tater chip here goes nothing You can do holy cow baby front end is way out of the water on electric only reservoirs most guys are only running three to five miles per hour with their trolling motor setups and very few have electric outboards so for me to get in this boat and run 10.8 miles per hour on my first pass is absolutely amazing guys will fight just to gain a mile per hour here or there in their boat setup so out the gate this thing running 10 a i knew i could get it into the 11s and i was super pumped Woo! this thing going uh 10 miles an hour plus i mean i hit 10 8 on an electric 10 plus on an electric light guys it's like there's that's getting it and this thing is literally a tin can what i think i'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna try to slide the battery up a little bit more. I'm gonna try to scoot up a little bit more. What I noticed was whenever I leaned back, the, the speed would drop from like 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8. It would drop down to 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4. So I'm gonna try to slide up a little bit and get that on camera and see if we could break 11. 
And while I'm standing up in this thing, guys, I'm going to tell you this thing is like night and day. I don't know if you can see this. Big difference between this 12-footer and, um, and my 14-footer. We're going to see what the pods can do on the rear for stability. I've got a lot of ideas. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I don't want to be out here um, falling out of boats. That's not my deal. We're going to probably leave a good majority of floor space in the middle of this boat to try to keep me at a lower center of gravity when I take this thing out. guys 11 6 was my top speed and honestly guys i really feel that this thing could be fine tuned into um the 12 mile per hour range 12 mile per hour 12 footer um, i moved the battery up another two foot basically and i picked up like another one mile per hour with me sliding forward this is giving me a great idea of exactly um, where the bench will need to go how far up i'm going to need to bring that and how to distribute my weight because Typically, guys will put the electric motor uh, batteries in the rear, but I'm thinking I'm going to try to figure out a way to maybe extend these cables and get this battery right where that middle bench is and uh, make a compartment there for it. A lot of things going on in my head right now as far as this build is concerned and, you know, like what we're going to do with the e-propulsion motor and what we're going to do as far as framing this thing out. Um, I, I can't tell you how freaking awesome it is to run uh high, high 11 mile per hours on an electric only lake there's nobody out here right now but i'm telling you if there was they would be looking at me like i was crazy out here in this tin can with the old e-propulsion electric outboard straight blowing smoke man i've manipulated some batteries i've checked some stability I've got a good idea of kind of what we need to do from here and now i have some data to really compare um future modifications the weight that's going to be added from the aluminum kit that i'm putting in this thing and then obviously how the pods will affect the aerodynamics of the hull and also uh hopefully it'll boost the stability the uh e-propulsion navy 3.0's performance on this 12 footer today 11.6 is absolutely amazing on an electric body of water 11.6 is a stellar starting point to build off of so this boat should be more than capable of staying within the nines, maybe the tens, I'm hoping. Quick recap, gentlemen. Of course, the boat was not as stable as my 14, but once I kind of got used to it, it wasn't totally horrible, but fishing out of it will be a different story. We're gonna build this boat around how it performs factory. All right, so it's unstable. So obviously we're gonna do something about it. We're gonna put some pods on there. There's pros and cons to everything. And we may sacrifice a little bit of that top speed um, due to the aerodynamics of the pods, but we, we have yet to see that. So that's why we're testing this to see what it'll do after the pods. I'm gonna do a very simple front deck, but I really wanna try to accommodate a storage space for this battery to be up front. And in particular, right about there, right about in this area. I wanna leave a lot of floor space. I wanna be able to take my daughter out in this boat or my son out in this boat. I wanna be able to not fall out of the boat when I'm out in it. And so I like floor space, lower center of gravity, more stability. So in some certain ways, this boat is gonna be more highly modified than my 14 footer. And then in other ways, we're gonna to tone some things down, guys. I don't think I need 30,000 hatches. I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of accommodate this boat for what it is, man. It's gonna be a mobile 12 foot boat and it needs to make sense. Top Gun Portage on needs to make sense. Now that I have some real data, I could really build this boat around how it just performed on this body of water. As always, guys, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you've yet to do so, click that subscribe button. Big things to come on the 12-foot Top Gun Portage on. You're not going to want to miss it. I am pumped, baby.
Let's get it! <laughs> 